Hi, I think there's some frequently asked questions about California state officers and honorarian gifts. First, can state officers accept gifts and honoraria? Among other provisions, Article 5, Section 14 of the California Constitution prohibits any honorarium being paid, and it limits gifts being made to state officers. Next, who are state officers? <clears throat> Section 14F of Article 5 defines state officer to mean the governor, lieutenant governor, attorney general, controller, insurance commissioner, secretary of state, superintendent of public instruction, treasurer, and the members of the State Board of Equalization. What does the state constitution provide regarding honoraria? Again, in Article 5, this is Section 14B, it says no state officer may accept any honorarium, and the legislature shall enact laws that implement this subdivision. So Article 1 of Chapter 9.5 of Title 9 of the California Government Code deals with honoraria, specifically in Government Code Sections 89501 and 89502. How does state law define an honorarium? Section 89501A defines an honorarium as any payment made in consideration for any speech given, article published, or attendance at any public or private conference, convention, meeting, social event, meal, or like gathering. What is not an honorarium under California state law? In Section 89501 Subdivision B, it specifies that honorarium does not include earned income or personal services, which are customarily provided in connection with the practice of a bona fide business trade or profession, and honorarium which is not used and returned to the donor within 30 days or delivered to the state controller as a donation to the state's general fund. Does state law limit honorarium for local officials? Section 89502 subdivision A prohibits any elected state officer or elected officer of a local government agency from accepting any honorarium. Does state law limit honorarium for candidates? Section 89502B prohibits a candidate for elected state office, judicial office, or local government agency office from accepting any honorarium. Now, what happens if a violation of the honorarium ban occurs? Section 89521 provides that any person who makes or receives an honorarium in violation of state law is liable in a civil action brought by the Fair Political Practices Commission for an amount up to three times the amount of the unlawful honorarium received. What does the state constitution provide regarding gifts? Article 5, Section 14C specifies that the legislature shall enact laws that ban or strictly limit the acceptance of a gift by a state officer from any source if the acceptance of the gift might create a conflict of interest. Article 2 of Chapter 9.5 of, of Title 9 of the California Government Code deals with gifts specifically in Sections 89503 and 89503.5, again, of the Government Code. Uh, what is the definition of a gift under state law? The word gift is defined in Government Code Section 82028A to mean any payment that confers a personal benefit on the recipient to the extent that consideration of equal or greater value is not received, and it includes a rebate or a discount in the price of anything of value unless that uh, rebate or discount is made in the regular course of business to members of the public regard, uh, without regard to any official status. Now, what is not a gift under state law? Section 82028B specifies that the term gift does not include the following. Informational material, such as books, reports, pamphlets, calendars, or periodicals. Gifts which are not used and which within 30 days after receipt are either returned to the donor or they're delivered to a nonprofit entity exempt from tax, and they're not claimed as a charitable contribution for tax purposes. Also, gifts from an individual spouse, child, parent, grandparent, grandchild, brother, sister, parent-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, nephew, niece, aunt, uncle, or first cousin, or the spouse of any of those persons. Also, gifts are not campaign contributions that are required to be reported, any devise or inheritance, 
nor personalized plaques and trophies with an individual value of less than $250. What is state law? Uh, limitation on receiving gifts? Section 89503A prohibits any elected state officer, elected officer of a local government agency, or other specified individuals from accepting gifts from any single source in any calendar year with a total value in excess that of that which is specified by the FPPC on an annual basis. Does state law limit gifts for candidates? Section 89503B prohibits any candidates for elected state office, for judicial office, or for elective office in a local government agency from accepting gifts with any single source or from any single source in any calendar year with a total value in excess of that which is specified, specified by the FPPC. Now, what is not a gift under state law? In section 89503E of the government code, it specifies that this section of law doesn't prohibit or limit payments, advances, or reimbursements for travel and related uh, lodging and subsistence that is otherwise permitted or wedding gifts and gifts exchanged between individuals on birthdays, holidays, or other similar occasions, provided that the gifts exchanged are not substantially disproportionate in value. And finally, what happens if a violation of the gift law occurs? Government Code Section 89521 provides that any person who makes or receives a gift in violation of the law is liable in a civil action brought by the Fair Political Practices Commission uh, for an amount of up to three times the amount of the actual unlawful gift.